What's up? I made a video about this a few months ago about CERN's upgrade, right? You can see the Large Hadron Collider shuts down to prepare for bigger bangs in 2015 because word around the campfire is is that they're going to use CERN and open up the Stargate in 2017. I don't know how true that is. Just showing you or sharing with you which, uh, what I've heard. So I want to talk about this article again real quick because this I saw this on TV the other night and it just cracked me up. So I had to share this. The LHC has been running at top uh, at a top energy of 4 trillion electron volts or 4 TeV per beam, but during the long shutdown, the facility's magnets and connections will be checked and upgraded to the point that it can run at its maximum design energy, yay, of 7 TeV per beam starting in 2015, which I'm sure is going to be great news for all of us. So, I just think it's funny because, you know, that CERN's just surrounded by these magnets. They got them everywhere, and the... You know, the theory is that that's what they're doing, is they're using these magnets to somehow open up the Stargate. And so it's funny whenever you watch these shows like Under the Dome, new TV show, right, new season, and they say this. Magnetism caused some sort of warmhole. Yes, what if magnetism does indeed cause some sort of wormhole? So I just thought that was kind of funny, kind of interesting, because who knows? You know, I think it's going to happen, just my opinion, but I think this is what it talks about in Revelation 6 here. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Because, t in my opinion, it looks a little bit something like this. It's even got the two pillars on either, either side of it. Ain't that great? This is from the Hasbro Family Game Night board game uh, series on the Xbox 360. You see how they put it in absolutely everything? It's unbelievable. Because whether or not it's going to open in 2017, I don't know. But uh, it's going to open sometime. Because... It's been it's been documented in every in every culture, every every civilization that's ever walked this earth. They all talk about this happening in one in one way or another. Absolutely. And what's funny is uh, I've just kind of stumbled on this by accident. This is from some Ganzasar monastery over here in Armenia. And you know what they have? They got it too. This is about the most telling picture you're gonna see of it. I mean that's that's it right there. I mean give me a cuss and break. Everybody, and this isn't really a secret. Everywhere you look, they're talking about this thing. And just to top this all off, great find by Occult Science. This is from CNN. Cyborg implants antenna in the skull. And this, that's exactly what this is about. Some dude who surgically implanted an antenna into his skull. And there's another guy who has a microchip in his arm that he loves because he can just walk around and unlock his house, unlock his safes, unlock his car doors. Without any keys, he just waves his little microchip in front of it and unlocks everything. And before anybody says, well, it's CNN, it's a bunch of garbage, everything in the news is fake, I don't think so. Because I've been, I used to be a big, huge metalhead, right? I used to go to OzFest and all these crazy music festivals all the time. And everywhere, I, every time I go to one of those, I saw multiple people walking around with those steel... Um, ball implants in their skull that makes them look like they have huge bumps all over their faces. Just, just, just Google it. You see, it's real. It's true. It's real. So if people are doing that, and I know how obsessed people are with technology, I know that there are indeed people who are very interested. If it's not this guy, then someone else, I'm sure, has done it, has surgically implanted an antenna in his skull. Things are about to get really, really weird. And hey, just a fun prediction, let's say they aren't. Let's say everything's just going to remain hunky-dory for the next 10 years. Here's a prediction. In 10 years, you and I will be the weird ones that don't want these things implanted into our bodies. Now that's a true statement right there. All right. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate all my support out there, teammates and subs. Thank you very much.